Hey everybody, guess what? Unity is now supported on Apple Silicon. Well, it's an alpha. According to one of the commenters here, Saif Khan, he says that Unity rolled out a native version for Apple Silicon and he wants me to do a comparison. And I sometimes listen to you folks. I read the comments and a lot of the tests I do on this channel are actually your suggestions. So I Googled around and I found this post right here from Unity by Kevin Welton. He describes that yes, they do have an alpha build and Unity Silicon editor is in preview. Now you can download it right here, right from this blog post, which I did, I installed it. If you download the beta, that one is not yet supported under Apple Silicon, just the alpha build is as of the time of this recording of this video. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to do a comparison on my MacBook Air M1 right here. Say hello to my little friend, <laughs> Scarface. Anyway, I'm going to time the builds using alpha and using the beta of version 2021 of Unity. We'll see which one is faster. Let's do it. By the way, for those people that are impatient, I did run a couple of preliminary tests and the uh, Apple Silicon version seems to be a little bit faster. Not by much though, not by much. All right, so let's do these tests together right now and we'll see by how much and I'll do it a couple times so we can get a sense of the average. All right, I'm gonna create a new project and take a look at this. These are the versions I have installed. These are the versions that are available. If you take a look at the version numbers, 2021.2.0b3 and that one is the beta. And this is the alpha that I downloaded from that blog post. So we're going to start with a beta. I'm going to create a new project using that. And I'm going to use this mobile 3D template. So I'm going to call this M3D beta test one. It's creating the project. Oh, and while I was doing that, just want to let you know that I did get this Asus Rogue Strix machine. It's a pretty powerful Ryzen 9 5900HX machine. So I'm going to be doing some tests on this as well. I'm going to be doing Unity tests in a different video on that and comparing it to the M1 as well. So don't miss it. Subscribe to the channel. Here we are. I've got this project started here. And notice in the title bar, we have the sample scene and it says personal metal Rosetta. So Rosetta is in uh, angle brackets. It's telling us that now Unity is recognizing that there are different versions and this one's going to be running via Rosetta. If you used version 2020, it didn't even say Rosetta there because there was no such thing as Rosetta or non-Rosetta. It was just one x64 version. If we take a look at Activity Monitor, you'll see that Unity right there is running under Intel. Cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is go up here to File, Build and Run, and it's going to ask me to save this build as M3D uh, Beta 1. You can call it whatever you want. And now when I click save, it's going to start building and run the project. So what I'm going to do is tap on start at the same time so we can time this go. And there goes the build. Let's see how long this takes. It says hold on. I'm holding on. I'm going to probably edit this part out just so it's quicker. And when that logo pops up, that's when I want to stop the clock. And this was about 26.78 seconds. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'm going to reset this and we're going to do it one more time just to see if we have a consistent number. So I'm going to close this project down and I'm going to create a brand new project because we want fresh build. Let's go to new. We're going to use the beta again. Mobile 3D. Let's call call this M3D beta two, and we'll create that project too. takes a while. Okay, but we are here. There's our project ready to go. I'm going to go to build and run, give this a name M3D beta two, and let's click on save and start at the same time and go. Okay, here we go. Build is working. So last time it took about 26 seconds, 26 and a half or so. Let's see if this one will be any faster or about the same. And it's about the same 27.17, which I'm going to say is now probably the uh, the time that we're going to go with for comparison purposes around 27 seconds could keep doing this test, but that's no fun. Let's get to the Apple Silicon version, shall we? I'm going to close this down and let's go to Unity Hub and I'm going to create a new project using the alpha now. So this is the one that supports Apple Silicon. And we're going to use the same template mobile 3D M3D Alpha one. Let's create that one. Da, 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 da. Unity, Unity, Unity. We need a Unity song while this is building. Anybody know the Unity song? All right, it's done. So check it out at the top. Now it says the name of the project personal and it says metal. All right, so that means that it's not running under Rosetta anymore. This should be the Apple Silicon process. So let's check activity monitor and huh, we got two of them. What? Okay, one two a while to disappear, I guess. Here it is. This is the Unity that we are running now, and it is Apple architecture. Okay, let's go to build, run, give it a name, M3D Alpha 1. And I got my time already. Let's go. Okay, is this going to be faster or not? Let's take a look. Got my finger hovering just in case. Don't want to miss it. Boom. 
15 seconds. So 12 seconds less. That is significant. That is a lot. Should we do it again? I think we should do it again just to make sure that was not a fluke. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go to Unity Hub, create a new project, A19 Mobile 3D, M3D Alpha 2, create. Now, for those of you that are Unity developers, what do you think about this? Do you welcome this change? Are you working on an Apple Silicon Mac? Are you working on a PC? How are you doing this? And do you want to see the comparison between Mac and PC, the specifically the Apple Silicon versus Ryzen 9 that I'm going to do later on anyway. But are you excited about that video? Let me know in the comments. Here we are. We got the metal version popped up. Let's go to build and run M3D Alpha 2. And I got my timer ready. Let's go. So the time we're trying to match is about 15 seconds. And let's see if it's about the same five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, actually, I got 14.95. But that's close enough to 15, right? So we're gonna say that 27 seconds for the build under Rosetta and 15 seconds for the Apple Silicon version. Now, just curious, folks, uh, if you do want to run this on your own machine at home, and if you want to share that information, you're welcome to do that down in the comments below. Let me know what machine you're using what processor and you have to use Use the same template and basically just create a project and run and build it and time that. All right, folks, if you found this video useful or entertaining, I'd appreciate a thumbs up so other people can also find it. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.